Okay, so what is the missing number in this pattern? Two, nine, okay, four, six, going up and then going down. But it looks really irregular, so it must be jumping. So that is the case. So two, four, the answer here is six. So I'm going to click six here and then submit the answer. So here's how I've answered this question in five steps or less. Step one. First thing you should always do is look at the number pattern itself. So, and look at how it's moving. So two, going up to nine, going down to four, going up to six. So it looks like it's going up and down, okay? That's the first thing we get from this. And from there, you move on to the second step. So you start to see, okay, well, this is how it's moving. The second step is whether or not this is a sort of a regular pattern. And you can see here, the answer to that is no. There is no regular pattern to this movement of higher and lower. In fact, it's very irregular. So some parts it moves up quite substantially, then less, and then moving up by two. So you can see here, there's no irregular pattern, sorry, there's no regular pattern here. It's quite irregular. And with patterns in numerical reasoning, what you'll see is a regular pattern that comes out from it. So you need to uncover what that is because it currently exists in there. Okay, this is one of the tricks with many aptitude tests. Um, they not only assume that, say, this number here, nine, goes from two and then four goes from nine, there are other patterns that can come about in numerical reasoning. Let's look at one of these other patterns. So what could that be? I'm going to clear that up and that's our step two. So bringing us on to now, step three. So step three is where you start looking at other options for these irregular patterns, okay? There are many types of things in irregular patterns that we cover in our courses, but I will show you one here today. The one here is that it doesn't go from nine to two and four to nine. It's not just based on the previous number, it can skip. So here, in this case, what I can really see is that every second number is actually going up by two for this one here. So two, four, there should be six then, eight, ten. So you can see here a regular solid pattern. Numbers going up by two for every second. Okay, from the beginning. How about this one then? There should also be another regular pattern elsewhere. And see here, this is nine, so I'll put it from up here. Nine, six, three, zero. You can see here that's actually going down, and every second one goes down by three. So you can see here, minus three for every second number, starting from the second. So this one here second figure. Whereas this one here, first figure, for every second number, you're adding two for every second number. And you can see here, notice how cleanly you can see the pattern. Once you have a very clear pattern, it's very obvious compared to previously when there was no pattern because it was irregular, it was moving irregularly. So you can see here for every second number, that is the pattern, goes up by two. If you start from the first figure. However, if you start from the second figure, it's going down by three. Okay, so you can see clearly from this diagram, and this was step three, that this was a pattern. You don't need to, need to go into so much detail when it comes to your exam. You want to get there as quickly as possible. And you can see there from the previous video, how I, I was able to do this in under 20 seconds by just seeing, okay, looking at the numbers firstly, no pattern, therefore we look at irregular patterns. And this is one of the irregular patterns and I got that answer six there, okay? And that was the correct answer.